Now, coming full circle and looking ahead, what does all of this mean for Singapore? How might we take these learnings and best apply them here and for maximum social value? As I've reflected on these questions, I've come up with the following ideas, and these are really intended just as a starting point. First, build on Singapore's strengths. You have an historical emphasis on self-reliance, self which fits really well with the sharing economy ethos. You also have a track record of staying ahead of the curve. You also have unparalleled institutional trust, especially as, within the government. So if the government can actually proactively invest in and promote the sharing economy, it could become a game-changing competitive advantage. Second, build on Singapore's strategies. You have a three-pronged growth strategy, highly skilled people, an innovative economy, and a distinctive global city. The, each and every one of these three prongs matches extremely well with strategies that could be developed around the sharing economy. And third, looking forward, lean in and walk the talk. Do all that you can to learn about these platforms and integrate the sharing economy, particularly those opportunities and platforms that have social value, into the overall economy. And I'm always very cautious to say, the sharing economy is not going to overtake the economy. It's not going to, you know, we're not all going to start sharing everything. But what we're looking at is a case in which the sharing economy is becoming an increasingly large and meaningful part of a bigger economic pie. Also, of course, apply these principles to the government itself. Do, take a look at what Seoul is doing to sort of look in the mirror and say, how can we as a city, as a country, benefit from the sharing economy? And favor those platforms, whether they're global, whether they're local, favor those platforms that favor community, that put the community at the center of what's going on. And perhaps most of all, at the end of the day, recognize that if we can approach this space responsibly, we will see that the sharing economy is much more of an opportunity to be seized than a problem to be solved.